There's a man that's gone viral. He recorded his date's reaction secretly to, uh, you know, to asking to split the bill, although it was a first date. Here is, um, you know, some of that right here. Why are we splitting the bill? Well, I mean, it's our first date, so I thought we should maybe go hot. I can't believe you made us split the bill. I mean, you ordered an appetizer that I didn't even touch. Why do you think that I should okay, pay for Okay, but you asked me out. I know, but you ordered something you that I did. You asked me out. All right, I'll just take you home. Wow. All right, see ya. Bye. There was not a second. Yikes. Day. She mm. sounds kind of hot, though. But you know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> she does sound like she'd be attractive. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the question is, if a guy asked you out on a first date, should he pay? Do you expect him to pay? Is uh, probably a better question. Should you expect him to pay? Let's go to Ashton. Ashton, should a guy pay on a first date if he asks hey you guys. out? Hey. Um, in my opinion, if it's a first date, it's like bonus points if he pays. In in your experience, I've never had that expectation. Okay, have you ever had a guy not pay on a first date? Not yet. <laughs> never, never that though. might change, right? Her opinion, but here's the thing: like, do you think that because he asked her out, there's more reason for him to pay? Like, for instance, if she asked him out and it was a first date, would he be expecting her to pay? Probably not. Even if she asked him out? I've never heard of a guy expecting a woman to pay on a first date. No, but would no. you be... Okay, how about this? Would you think the guy should pay if the girl asked him out? Yeah. Just because of the... Old school. What is yeah. that? Uh, sh Chivalry. Sh well, I've never... Shiver. Sh it's, it's dead anyway. <laughs> sh Chivalry sh is dead. There's no point in learning how to say it at uh, this yeah, point. I've, I've never even had said it before. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> what? Never even seen the definition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, and Ashton, yeah. um, so you've... Never had a guy not pay on the first date. Well, if you got a squid, that could happen. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let you pay for me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I am definitely not your average female, so you know if if you know the bill is is astronomical in price. Would I love for us to split it versus me paying for the whole thing? Sure, but I'm not that person that's going to say, "Uh, excuse me, you asked me out." Uh, it, no, mm -mm. Okay. you hit the bill. That's not how that works. All right. Hmm. Thank you, Ashton. Appreciate it. Kendall, should a guy pay for the first date if he asks you out? So I kind of agree with the first caller. You know, it shouldn't be necessarily expected. I mean, if, if you're asking me, hey, can I take you out, then it's kind of implied that you're going to pay. But I wouldn't be mad if the bill came and you were like, hey, can we split this? I mean, this day and age, it's that's just kind of how things are now, like. I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're expecting me to pay for the food that I consumed by myself. Like, that's it's nothing to be mad about. It's like she said, bonus points. If you do pay, it makes you look good. But I wouldn't be mad if you didn't. You know, I definitely think it has Thank to you. do. I know it's, you know, this part of it involves male, female expectations. And I think part of it definitely involves, for me, who asked who out. So if, if a guy asks a girl out and she goes... I can see her expecting him to pay. If a girl did the same thing, I could see some guys expecting to pay. I wouldn't do it because I want to avoid the confrontation and have a chance if I was single. You know, what right, I'm saying? right. If I was single, I would just, I don't want the awkwardness. I just do it because suck it up because you don't know how the other per person's feeling. But I believe these roots stemmed from years and years and years and years and years ago. And mostly men, one person worked in a family household, which usually was a guy. And uh, he typically had more money, right? Yeah. And uh, but now, if you think about it, it's like men hold, holding a door for women. Is it because they're not strong enough? I mean, it almost. <laughs> yeah. If you look at it the other way, like, oh, <laughs> women can't open a door, right? But I, you know, I think you just do it because it's polite. Polite. You and do then, it regardless mm -hmm. if they're women. You just hold doors for people, right? But that's. Yeah. But the case is in the history, Matt. That it was men holding the door, or like if there's an umbrella, but it's not really a big umbrella and it's raining, you put it over your yes, your girl's head exactly. and you just get soaked, you know, or mm -hmm. you put the jacket down over a puddle. But I'm like, Can you just walk around that's it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen exactly. the jacket puddle thing in person. I've never yeah. yeah. seen it in movies. <laughs> That'd be hilarious seeing that in person. Like, <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> Without a doubt, though, those moves are polite. But the history has been 
for guys to do it for women and open the door for the car yes. on the day. They don't do the that other, for you. Yeah. I think like, you should. I think it's a uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's a nice thing to do, yeah. and I you know, but yeah, I don't think it's expected anymore. But I do think you should. Well, I think a lot of women, especially some feminists, although that confuses me too because they can go either way, think that that's the chivalry part was. Oh, we're we're not strong enough. We're not able enough yeah. to do this on our own. <laughs> and then you have the opposite way, like how dare they think we should do everything? So I don't know. <laughs> it gets confusing. Uh, there's a great, and maybe we can post a clip of it, but from Curb Your Enthusiasm, where um, the main character, Larry David. Larry David, he is, you know, opening the doors for people for women and stuff. But then he sees a lesbian who he determined was a lesbian. It was kind of you know more masculine, and he was like. He's holding the door, and he looked at her and said, nah. And he closed the door on her, <laughs> and then the whole episode is this confrontation. Be like, oh, because I'm a lesbian, you didn't. Well, I just thought you didn't want me to. You know, the whole thing, right, feminism, right. and you can do it yourself. And But the thing is, it's like, I mean, I hold the door. If I'm walking into the gym, I hold the door open for the next person regardless of yeah, sex. Yeah, me too. Right. Right? And now, I, and I even try to open the door for people. But, yeah, on a date, back in the day, it was very common for the woman to wait in the car. When you parked, you wait in the car. The guy would get out, walk around, and open the door for her to get out. Yeah. That is wild. Not efficient. Um, <laughs> so but I do, I do think, this, even though things have changed, other things are changing in, in a way, I think if you do ask a girl out on a first date and you don't pay, whether she says, said or, says it or not, she's not going to like that. So, yeah, subcon- oh, yeah. Even she, subconsciously. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go to Emily. Emily, should a guy pay on the first date? If he asks you out, no, um, because I, like the guy was saying, we had that expectation. The guy in the past, but the guy is the one that's going to ask you out. Um, but that doesn't mean he has to pay. He's just the one that made the first move to say, "Hey, I'd like to spend time with you." So I normally will pay for myself on the first date, maybe even the second date, depending on how it goes. Let me ask you this. I've seen this before. Yeah, there's I've no heard of this. smoke in a hot girls. Um, they're paying for anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're not. Yeah. But uh, have you ever done this, though, Emily, where you're on a date and you're not into the guy and to kind of like make sure that he kind of knows you're not into him? Like, hey, I, you know, I got mine. Yes. I've definitely seen, I've heard that, people that, do that, that before. That would make me think right uh, there. Yeah. She's, She's not, not into me. It's like, no, I got mine. No, no, you're not paying for mine. You're like, oh. Has that ever happened, Emily? I've never done it that way. It's always my policy just, you know, because you don't know how it's going to go, so I pay my way the first time. Okay. Um, because you're hanging out, and, you know, then there's no expectations of anything on either side. If you see each other again, it's because you actually like each other. Um, I, I wouldn't look at it like, oh, I'm disappointed that he didn't pay. Um, if he argued with me about having to pay because, you know, he feels like he should, that might actually change my mind about him. Of okay, he's not willing to listen to me and what I'm wanting and what would make me so comfortable right now. Really? Yeah. What if he just said it in a nice way? It's like, no, I really, I mean, I, you know, I've just been, I just think it's the right thing to do. I guess, yeah. It's hard to be a guy. I would, I would say, well, maybe, maybe the next time if we go on another date, then uh, you can pay for that one. Okay. If I were single, All right, Emily, thank you. I would be eliminated on this date with Emily yeah. right away. <laughs> no, I think I, I think a lot be. of guys would. They'd be like, because she's like, no, I'll pay you. Like, no, I got it. And then she's like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> because even if if I was with you know another guy hanging out just as friends, and I offered to pay and said, don't worry about it, um, I, and all of a sudden you were demanding that you, I wouldn't. That would seem awkward, like, well, what's wrong? I'm just, I want to pay for Jared's lunch. Right, you know? yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I get what she's saying, like, the, the expectations. But I think, you know, honestly, if I do think there's some fall on the person that asks out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And, and the, we're like, well, if a woman asks you out, but how often does that happen? No, not often, wise? but if yeah, it did happen, never. I think that women should offer to pay. But I would still, if I was single dating, I would just have it in me like, no, don't worry about it. I got it. Unless they were rude, like that one girl that says, "That's how short you are." When I showed up, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> and then you're like, "I you're still paying. paid for that one." I regret that. Oh yeah, I paid for dates uh, years and years ago that I was not into at all. But it's just like, what well, you not do? into is one thing, but having her be rude to you about your physical appearance is still paying. <laughs> <or another. laughs> that's like yeah, paying for punishment. Yeah. Is it Joe Lynn? Yes, it is. All right, there's a guy that's gone viral for <clears throat> asking to split the check on the first date, and he filmed it. Uh, do you think a guy should pay on a first date if he asks you out? 
So I've been married to my husband for a year now. Um, but thinking about back in the dating days, I actually always grabbed the check. And it honestly pissed men off. Yeah. And I thought it was funny, but it was it was more of a, a gesture at that point to show you that one, it's nice that we're on a date, but I don't need you. You don't ever want a guy to feel like you need them or anyone in general from guy to girl or girl to guy. So if he ended up saying something about it, yeah, I'd either offer to split it or I'd take the gesture and say thank you. It take the gesture. But it never was like an expect. Yeah, like I was never an expectation like, oh, because we're on a date, whoever asked you. You decided to go on that date, too. It was mutual. Nobody forced you. Right. And that's what the guy was saying. There's another clip, but another guy that from the uh, viral video, he was saying, look, we both agreed to go on the date. We both ate. We both wanted to go. But I didn't he force her. her. Out, right? Yeah, he said, but I didn't force her. Yeah. They made on the a dating app. And the of her, like, like the, the part that blew my mind is where she was, uh, like, he didn't touch the app size. He's absolutely right. Which means you took the initiative to order something and didn't even ask if he would share it with you or ask, like, if he wanted some. So, like, the entire day was being depicted by the girl anyway. Yeah. And she just had the expectation, like, oh, because you're going to fork out the money, I'm going to make sure I get something and the, everything that I want. I think it happens all the like, time. Like, that's the mindset what? of girls nowadays. I think it happens the all the time. time. Thank you. Carol asked me if we want to get something to eat. I'm going to see who pays, and I'm just going to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> and from her budgeted account, let's see if she pays. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And I do want to – there's probably a different topic for a different day. Like, at what point in a dating relationship – like, if you go out to eat all the time, should you start splitting it? Because if you start date like Squid, if you start dating mm-hmm. somebody for, like, four or five, six months, yeah. and y'all go out to eat all the time, should you be, as the man, required to pay every time? No. That's a different subject, it, though. Yeah, That's different. That is, but I feel like, well, there's two things I want to say. First, when the, the, in the audio from the guy, when, when talking about the appetizer, yeah. when he said that, that's what I thought. At first, I was on his side, and then I'm like, oh, wait, this man's... Like counting each, yeah, each yeah. shrimp you eat. I'm yeah. like, all right, this dude's cheap. Like he's yeah, just yeah. being like a yeah, because bomb. he because he yeah. didn't decide to eat. You know, I don't yeah, like yeah. That. He, he should have said that part. Yeah, yeah, that's that made him sound bad, like bad, like cheap. Um, but yeah, like every relationship I've been in, like only two serious relationships. But after we've been dating for a couple months, like actually we become official, we'll start splitting things. But until like we're in the talking stage and it's until we put a label on it, you pay. I'm for normally it. paying. Yeah. I got you. All right, let's go to Morgan. Morgan, should a guy pay for the first date if he asks you out? I think that now, on any first date I've ever been on, I've always at least offered to pay my part. Okay. I did that with my now husband. But I do kind of, sort of, almost expect him in a way to pay, but I'm not like turned off if he's like yes it'd be great if you paid your part but i also don't think that if a guy asks me out that means it's a free-for-all at the restaurant i get to get a appetizer entree dessert drink be be a little bit more Consider it yeah, than that. I, I got you. Mm-hmm. You know, if you, again, if you went out with Squid, he, well, you're married, but he can take that three for ten or whatever at Chili's. Oh yeah, yeah, the two for twenty at Applebee's. Well, or, oh, Applebee's. or three for me at Chili's. <laughs> yeah. I, but to, to the last caller's point, if she's like trying to be conservative of what she wants, if my thought is, I, I wouldn't want to be that person in that situation where I've got to watch out of what I order. If I did order that, I would certainly offer. If I was the woman, I would certainly offer to pay half. You know what I mean, and then hopefully he he might say, "Oh, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it." But I don't. I wouldn't want to have to worry about everything I order. I know, and maybe it's just the way, just the way I was raised, or, or whatever. But like, if I'm if going out, or somebody takes me out for my birthday, or whatever, and they're like, "Get whatever you want," I still always choose either the cheapest thing or somewhere in the middle. Yeah. I just feel guilty getting something expensive. Yeah. You know. Now, if the mm-hmm. company's paying for it. And give me the filet mignon and, yeah, and the caviar yeah. and all the different stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, no, yeah, even then, I, I still feel I still feel guilty. I'm like, well, then well, at that point, like I've had it in my mind many of times. You know how I am. It, before I was married, even if I was going to take a girl out, back in my mind, I was like, can I use this two for one coupon? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah why not be thrifty? But, yeah. but then again, that could be looked at as being cheap too. I know you must have to hand the the waitress the coupon in secret. Like, yeah, but it could be looked a lot of yeah. A lot of people think using a coupon or something like that can be a, you know, a, a being cheap too. So that's one step further. Even though you're going to handle everything, you have the coupon to do it. But it's like, oh, we had to use a coupon to oh, take me. Yeah, yeah. That's how much you like me. You give me. You get some discount date here. <laughs> Lynn, 
Lynn, should a man pay for the first date if he asks you out? If he asks me out, I feel like he should pay. If I ask him out, I feel like I should pay or at least split the bill. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that's yeah, fair. Like that. That's a good that's way a good to way. look at it. Yeah. Uh, Morgan, if someone were to ask you out on a first date, a man, should he pay? I think whoever initiates the date should pay, unless you're like squid and you go to Chili's and you get drinks. Um, if you get an alcoholic drink or more than one, I feel like you should take the bill for the alcohol. Yeah. But otherwise, I think whoever initiates it should have to pay for the for the meal. All right, and I think that's a yeah. good rule Thank to you. go by. And then, and look, and if if the one of the people, like if even the guy says, "Hey, don't worry about, it, I got it," that's a, just a nice gesture that mm-hmm. you can accept. Yeah, exactly. And, and um, you know, as someone who after going through a divorce again, Jason, and then dating again, now I'm not single. But anyway, um, going on dates and then somebody would order alcohol if they're not obviously no one a member of the church. That was just like, <laughs> wait, yeah. what? Because I think, you know, sodas that are $3 uh-huh. are expensive. It is. Well, if you consider how much it costs for the soda, it definitely is expensive. But I will yeah. tell you, somebody that doesn't drink and then all of a sudden you are, somebody orders a couple glasses of wine or an or some kind of liquor drink, that's probably more than the meal. No, I was like, okay, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, it's be 40 some dollars, maybe $50 total with the, you know, everything. And then you get the thing, it's like 80 I'm like, why? I'm like, oh, because it <laughs> I'm like, I don't like that and at you all. You a tip on that, too. For more, yeah, exactly, for more than one reason. At the risk of upsetting Jared, Jared, I have a question for you. Yes. Ooh. If you did ask a girl out on a date, yeah. you're recently single, now dating, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to ca- caveat this the way Jason does sometimes. Well, that could right, change. Right, right. If, if, but re- if you were asking a girl on a date, you do not drink alcohol. Right. But if you went on the date and sh- you plan to pay, but she ordered alcohol, do you still pay for that, or do you ask them to cover the alcohol and then you would just pay for the food? I have done both. Really? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, I don't drink. You Actually, are people are a cheap bastard. <laughs> but then I've also, <laughs> also just like not even thinking went to pay. I've definitely done that, and I'm like, it's eighty dollars. I'm like, how? And I'm like, oh, they got. Oh my! Like, uh. You've asked the, yeah. the date. Well, I've to just pay. said. Well, usually they'll say, "I know you don't drink," so so a lot of people will like offer to pay. Not that I'm going out with people that are drinking a lot anyway, but right, it's just right. like, but yeah. But if they do, you're going to say, "Hey, um, I don't drink. I noticed you got that alcohol. Can you pay for I've that?" I've definitely part? said that before. Yes. Wow. Oh, I, mm-hmm. I could never do that. Yeah. I think that would be so awkward. But I, I oh, it's like, awkward. But yeah, they. But they're like, oh, I get it. But especially yeah, that's they, a different situation because Jared doesn't drink and has that as kind of a, a high standard for himself. I would be more understanding of that. Than somebody who does drink, but then it's like, hey, let's split our well, alcohol. Matt, you, you know might call saying? that a high standard. I call that a low standard. I think a high <laughs> standard is if you do drink. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a lot of guys, to be honest with you, um, you know, maybe want their partner, want their significant other to uh, drink. For one, it might uh, it kind of loosens or relaxes the person. For a couple reasons. It can lead them into making a poor decision. It could, it could, <laughs> bingo. <laughs> or it could, it could loosen them up to have, be more open to have a good time. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's, I'm sure all those. Are, mm-hmm. I've always been, and this, I've always wanted people to like me for me. Oh mm-hmm. gosh! And so <laughs> I am that way. That's why, like, even when y'all talk like about me, a wedding, me. like going to a wedding, and you're like, "Well, is there gonna be alcohol there?" Then, like, you don't want to be at the wedding. Then you really don't no, care about the not, person. That's yes, not, that's not true. If You've definitely talk- said if somebody's not have alcohol, you, you're less likely to want to go to that the wedding. That's definitely true. But let me tell you, it, <laughs> it goes hand in hand. I mean, that's like saying. Uh, if alcohol enhances it and becomes, that's not saying that you don't want to be at a particular event or thing. It just makes it so much better. I just want you to be my friend for me, not because uh, you're you're like, drunk and you like me It's like saying more. if I was at mm-hmm. a cookout and it's warm out and cornhole is going on and burgers were on the grill, yes, it's so much better. Does anybody disagree besides Jared? It's so much <laughs> jet better drinking beers at the cookout. I that. Mean, well, of course, well, they all drink, but it's like, yeah. but you see what I'm saying, Squid? The phones. It's like oh, you only oh. hang out with people if you're drinking. That means that you're not, you don't really like being around them. Yeah, no, that's definitely no, true. That's, that's, that's not there's truth. truth to that. There's there is truth. Thank you, Squid. Yeah, there's truth to that. No, sure. there's, I need Matt. There's definitely people Squid. that, like, I've, all right, I'm back. What's your question? Okay, yeah. this is the question. Matt, J- Matt, J- <laughs> 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 you want to now. Jared's like, if you have to drink at any of the event, then you truly don't really want to be there. And I said, that's like saying if you went to a cookout and grills are on the grill, uh, burgers are on the grill, corn hose being, Cornhole, I can't speak. Cornhole is being played. It is a lot better with 
drinking beer. It, go, it doesn't mean I don't want to be there if I'm not drinking beer, but it definitely makes everything a lot better. No, I agree with that. Well, I think there's any situation. Like, if, if you were asked to go out to eat for somebody's birthday, and you're like, yes, I will go with you to your birthday. Where are we going? And they pick a restaurant that you hate. That doesn't mean you're going to be like, oh, you picked that one. Now I'm not going for your birthday. You're going to be less hype about it. Yes. But you're still going to go to support that person. And Jared, it's like you, it's like you going to a restaurant. They only have water. And instead yeah. of... But Diet Coke or Diet Dr. Pepper, you don't, it's not going to be as good. It doesn't mean you don't like the person. Or, Jared, it'd be like going to a place where you have to pay per can of soda. Yeah. I know. It's not uh, not advantageous. But if somebody but, you love said, hey, that's where I want to go for my birthday, you're still going to go. But what I was saying is Jason and Katie have said if they found out somebody has a wedding and there's not going to be alcohol, they're like, oh, I don't really want to go. Then they don't really want, they don't really support that person. Yeah. And then I was saying, Squid is saying that there are yeah. certain people he hangs out with, right, Squid? That, yeah, I'm, that you you don't have fun with them unless you're drinking. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's de- de- definitely been times in my life where I'm like, okay, this is not a real friendship. This is just someone who likes to drink, party, yeah, yeah, party, yeah. be with me. Like, I'm not actually. We have no real basis of a friendship. This you're is only friends someone. when you're drinking. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I normally try not to be around those people. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you're not my friend. Like I don't want actually like you. you I can like relate me. to that too. I had a friend in college who we like. We'd been friends for a year and a half, and then finally we hung out sober, and we're like, "Wow, we we have like no sober moments together." <laughs> yeah, that's I, a little well, bit. Marriages of my point. have been ruined by that. Some people that have drank their whole life get married. They drink, yeah. drink, drink. The other person stops drinking, and it's a different person, and the marriage breaks up. Yeah. yeah. Now that's not good. I mean, <laughs> alcohol uh. keeps families together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. I Ringing mean, endorsement. Well, yeah. and, there, and there's also at times where people. If I know that person is going to be there and they're going to be drinking, I'm like, ugh. Yeah, because you know they're going to be sloppy or, or they're going to do something. It's going to be a problem. Like the guy that tackled me <laughs> in the, the restaurant. <laughs> hanging out knowing with him that sober time, is probably yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> hanging out with him drinking would be awful. Yeah, you got to pick and choose. One last call real quick. There's a guy who's gone viral uh, for filming his date's reaction to when he asked to split the check. Should a guy pay for the first date? I mean, if he asks you out. Tasha, go ahead. Um, I think that people should start normalizing going on first dates to inexpensive places like coffee shops to avoid situations like this. Um, but I do think if you do go to a restaurant, whoever acts to on the date should pay. Whoever yeah. Like that. Okay. yeah. Also, a little hint for people, and I've seen this, I've seen guys do this. Don't take the date to some super fancy place. You're setting yourself up for major disappointment. Yeah, oh, yeah, I hear yeah, people yeah. like, oh, they took me to this. I'm like, what? And it was like $250 for the first date. I'm like, nah. it, it seems like you're trying. You're too trying hard. too hard, yeah. and then you're you're yeah. not confident in who you are. Yeah, that's why. One hundred percent. And I'll tell you, let's go to Popeyes. What? Yeah, yeah. That's how we get to two for twenty. With yeah. a coupon. Well, yeah. I, I heard Adam Levine took his wife on their first date to McDonald's. Really? Yeah, and it's Maroon Five. But I will say, there's certain if we're in like Las Vegas and that you live there, and there's some smoking hot girl that. As fake everything, she, she <laughs> may be expected to be. It's true. It's true. She might be expected to be going to a, a fancy restaurant, and that's going to be a materialistic relationship, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Jason, dealing, they call those prostitutes in Vegas. Uh, well, I'm telling you, and and she's going to expect that, and she's going to expect a guy to have a lot of money and take them out and pay for everything and this and that, and she might be super hot, and she's going to think this is what I have in return. That's going to be a rough relationship, but you got some hot girl. But for the most part, I've always had the most success before, Carol. Um, never really going to a sit-down dinner and a formal date. It's almost like an interview. It can be awkward. I've always had the best times just hanging out kind of like a group. Maybe with a group or just hanging out at first with people, getting to know the person. In a group, it's very easy because you're not forced to strict one-on-one interview. You can, there's people you can play off of, people you can talk to. You don't have to be one one It's less awkward. Then if that works out, then more of a kind of a, hey, you want to go here? You know, right. Uh, you know, yeah, let's get some coffee there and maybe go there. Less formal. Then if it works out, to me, formal can ruin it just like a lunch can. Because you're not being – you might feel too nervous or not being yourself. Yeah, and it's very different. It's like – you're not usually sitting down at a fancy restaurant one on one with somebody else, right? It's, you know what I mean? Yeah. When I've gone on dates, they they have never been fancy. Not, not the first date. Now, if you're getting a relationship, then you might go somewhere nice here and there. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I'm talking about like you're going to Roadies, which is fine, or you're going to. Uh, it could be anything. It could be like taco and axe throwing or yeah, whatever, or, yeah. or just like hey, you know, the, the playoff games on. Do you want to go over there to catch the game? Yes. And you're kind of just either standing at the bar area watching the game and having a couple of drinks. Different than. Sit down. This is going to be our dinner brought out, and the me- 
it just never has worked out yeah. as easy. And any time, seriously, anytime I hear a dude, they're like, oh, yeah, he took me to Ruth's Chris on our first day. I'm like, oh! oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's definitely hard. not confident in who he is. He wants to impress you by something else. Yeah. And then after that, it's all disappointment. Yeah, and all any girl in their right mind is going to say yes to a date at Ruth Chris. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, would. Yeah, same. I would, too. Yeah. Take me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go to Katie. Katie, what do you think about this topic? Uh, I called in for one reason, and then after hearing you all drone on and on, I have a lot more to say about it. <laughs> yeah. First of all, do not slander my name. I have gone to many a dry wedding, and I have always wanted to go to support the, cu- the couple. Now, I knew going in it was going to be way less fun, but I still went to support the couple. So you just slandered my name by saying that I said I don't really want to go. That's not true. This, you're you're this less attitude, excited about going. This attitude sounds like a Katie we know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, city, what city are you calling from, uh, caller? <laughs> <laughs> this Katie <laughs> sounds very, very sad. 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 You sound very <laughs> familiar to me. Yep. Well, good. I'm glad you guys can recognize me anywhere. Yes. Uh, and then also, Jason Goodman, if a woman has, what, what did you say, plastic Everything <laughs> <laughs> that you meet in Vegas I for a first not, date? I did not say that. <laughs> That's a prostitute. I did not say yep. I said fake yep, everything. Did. <laughs> no, I did not. I said <laughs> fake everything. Fake, okay, sorry, fake everything. I'm seriously out for five seconds, and then this turns into the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Fake everything? It's true if they were in Vegas. <laughs> and for the record, Katie, I stuck up. For what you just said when Jared slandered your name. I didn't slander. <laughs> Jared slandered You both it. actually just said it. You're less excited to go. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I said, I, no, no, I said I'm still there to support yes. the couple. I don't think it's going to be as much fun, but I still go. And you leave as I'm quickly like, as possible. Oh, no, that's not true. <laughs> normally, normally I just pregame, and then when my buzz wears off is when I leave. Or you sneak to your car <laughs> in the yeah. driveway. <laughs> um, Katie, right. are you? That's how that works. I know you disappeared for uh, you know yeah. thirty minutes. Are you coming back? Yeah, I. Well, I'm not coming back. Oh, so no. I. Yeah. Well, my test is negative. Okay, my son um, tested positive for COVID this morning, which I did not know because he wasn't awake when I left and got to work. And my husband texted me and said Henry had a fever and a, he was like congested and runny all at the same time. And so he tested him, and before the test even finished, he it, like, popped up positive. So I was like, oh, no. But in the morning, I had said to Jared, I was like, man, my ear really hurts, like kind of sinusy. And so then I thought, when Ben told me that he had COVID, I thought, oh, no. So I went, I got a test. It is negative, but I'm feeling kind of funky, and I don't, like, God forbid, I share COVID with y'all. I'm, I know how we treat people who expose others to illnesses. I got for that. I'm not trying to be that person. <laughs> well, yeah. Look, I just spread the flu. I can't get COVID. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. a flu oh. spreader. Yeah. See, that's what would happen. I would be like, no, I'm fine. I would come to work, and then somehow or another, Jason would get his first case of COVID ever, and I literally would never, ever live it down. That is true. <laughs> no. that, is that is true is after true. what you put me through from the flu that I spread to the entire building. <laughs> <laughs> After you let Jason spit in your mouth. <laughs> By accident, Glenn. I was very oh, excited was of it? what I was saying, so oh, I was spit. It? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I, I no, I totally get that. Although I, I was in the office this morning for an hour and a half with Katie, so. I know. And we were like, we were gossiping. Ooh, oh, we spilled yeah. the juice this morning. We were, oh, it was good. We were on a good rant. <laughs> so, like, normal? Yeah, yeah, it's normal. Yes. We oh, had, totally, like, normal. This time it wasn't about anybody on the show, though, so that was a little bit different. No. So that was good. Yeah, it was not. But, um, yeah, I just don't want to risk it, and I'm very sorry. Um, if I, I hope that nobody else in my family gets it, but it was just kind of came out of nowhere for Henry. And so then when Ben wrote to me, I was very surprised, but I don't, you know, better safe than sorry. No, I get it. I get it. Well, we hope you feel better and hope Henry uh, recovers quickly. And um, I wouldn't listen to the rest of the show if you want your blood pressure to be low. Yeah, I'm just going to go home and maybe just try to take a nap. You know, just pee. Kitty, 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 kitty. Um, <laughs> yes. If, if you yes. are, let's say you're feeling better and tomorrow, but, uh-huh. um, you know, if you're, if you're not feeling bad and there yeah. is, uh, but you are positive or something, we could probably get you a microphone at your house. Okay. Yeah, that's if fine. You want, if you want. Oh, I don't know. From my closet? Yeah. yeah. Uh, unless your kids are going to be all I- in the background. That's up to you. Um, well, I mean, Henry will, but if he's not feeling well, he'll just oh. be in his bed. So, 
Yeah, right, I'll, I'm going to definitely see how it goes, like uh, how I feel. Hopefully, it's just like weird sinus drainage. I don't know. But if I'm feeling better and my test is negative, then yes, definitely. Okay. I'll either be there or we can we can broadcast live because I know you guys miss me. Can we all can we all broadcast from your house? Your fancy sure kitchen? You want to? <laughs> no? Yes. Okay. Come on over. I then did we'll feel, oh, uh, he has COVID, though. I, I did feel a little bit more powerful of what I was saying when Katie was not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Katie, thanks for empowering us by not being here. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, guys. I'll be listening. All right. I hope you feel better. Great. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks. All right. Bye. <laughs> yeah. And just for a little thing, because people, I don't know, but we had. I think you're la- extremely late, by the way. No, I know. We had a last minute What's thing. New? Yeah, we had a last minute thing where Katie had to run out, and we played a older pop quiz just because we're like, she just left. She's like, I have to go, and she's undefeated on the year. And the one we played was an older one where it said that she lost three times. Yeah, mm-hmm. and also said I re- referenced my wife Kelly. So anyway, <laughs> so if you were confused earlier, that was from three yeah. years ago. Yeah. So uh, we we were scrambling and we we're like, oh, she's just walked out and her game's coming up. So we try to play something that in the past and it backfired big time. So she is still undefeated, and um, I am not back with Kelly. <laughs> All right.